One of the things I like to do um, when I first get a new copy of Vectorworks is to set up my defaults. And by that I mean that I like to set up my way of working with my scales, my um, units and my page size. Vectorworks, when it first comes, has a default which predominantly um, is an American setup. Now, I don't use American pages or, or their setup of feet and inches, so I like to create my own. So this is how I do it. Now, the first thing I need to do is to go in and save the default page. When Vectorworks loads, it always loads up the default that is set in the parameters or the permissions. So I've just loaded up Vectorworks and I have now the default page set up. So what I want to do is to go in there and say save as template. Now you see it comes up with the default setting and there's only one in mine that um, I happened to muck around with yesterday. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in front of that a dash old and I'm going to save it as a um, as an old default. In other words, I haven't lost with American settings. I just put it somewhere else. Now I've done that. Now I want to go in and set up my particular way of working. And just to save some time, I've already set all this up. So let's just have a quick look and see how we do it. The first thing you need to do is to go into document settings. And I want to set the units. Now I work in millimeters. The original that comes on the default was feet and inches, but I don't like that. We don't work like that in the UK. And we work in millimeters. I want it decimal. And on the dual, sorry, on the area, I want square meters. And on the volume, I want cubic meters. And you can see if you drop down the box, there's a whole load of uh, different things you can use. Um, on the area, sometimes I quite like to wear it to... Um, to work in acres because I just happen to have a couple of clients who work that way but generally I like to work in square meters. Now dual dimensions. Vectorworks is quite unique in that it allows you to put dual dimensions up sometimes. So in the dual dimensions I want to have feet and inches. I want to show a decimal because that's better for me. You may want to do fractions. I don't. I like the decimal side of it and the decimal position is 0.001. I'll leave that as the time being and just press OK. Now the other thing I need to do is to set up the page size and if you go down to uh, page setup you'll see this page come up. Now the way that I do it is I go into my printer because it's the printer that commands everything really. So I'm going to go into printer setup. I'm going to print predominantly on a HP desk jet 1280 and I want A3. I could do A4 or A5 but in this particular case all my drawings I tend to do on A3 and I want it landscape. Now leave the scale as a hundred percent purely because the way that um, Vectorworks used to print you used to be able to set down the scale to about whatever you like 50 percent and print it within an A3 sheet don't need to do that anymore because we use specific printing sheets and I'll go into that a bit later on. Okay just press OK and that's it and just make sure it's horizontal and vertical is one. Show page boundary yes and show page breaks. It's just useful because sometimes this might stray and you just want to make sure that when you do print you know where you're printing to and on what. So print that. Now, now I've set it all up what I want to do is to save that as a template. Now you can see there, there's the old default that I saved, which is all the American settings. There's the default there, and I've just clicked on it, and it's just made it default. And what I want to do is to overwrite that. So save that, I want to replace it, and there you go. Every time that I ask for a new file, it'll come up and it'll show me the default as being the um, uh, the one that it wants to load. It also happens that there are absolutely loads in there from Architect Metric. These are all the, the predefined ones that um, Nemechek have loaded in. Um, and I never use any of these, to be honest. Um, the default is the one that I quite like, and it is all my personal settings. 
what we also um, need to do is to go into organization now I have as a default because I've set these up a long time ago these are all my classes that I use and I'll show you later how to go in and do all this there's the design layer now I have it set to one-to-one -to -one purely because it makes me go in and rethink what I'm doing in other words do I want to draw in one to ten detailing specific detailing one to five or am I doing general layouts at one to a hundred so the first thing I do is I go in and click and I go to scale and I reset the scale to be one to a hundred now there are arguments as to what you should do here my take on it is that you should set up the scale for the design layer to more or less what you're going to be doing for the sheet layer when you start to print it just makes life a lot easier and we'll stick to that until I tell you otherwise okay so that's it and let's just save that one as 1 to 100 and now you can see there's my page set up you always get a small gray outline of the sheet which is an A3 sheet it's great because it shows you the center and you can see that naught and naught is set down to the bottom left hand side of the sheet and that's fine with me and why have a little gray outline on this area where well, it just keeps things in perspective it allows you to see where you are and not stray away because when I want to do viewports which I'll show you later I want to uh, make the viewport come into this particular area on the sheet layer okay that's it hope you're well keep in touch bye